So it's December 25th. Today is Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. And it is snowing. We don't get a ton of snow around here, but it's coming down today. Anyway, whether you believe in all this climate change or you don't, all I can tell you is over the last couple of years, the climate has been changing. So the weather forecast over the next few days is saying that we're gonna get down into the teens. Now, I'm a little nervous this time because it's supposed to get down into the teens. I'll bet you anything it gets down into the single digits and some places online have actually said it's going to. So we're about to get a taste of some really cold weather over the next few days and they're saying it's gonna last for a few days, which normally it doesn't around here. We typically range in the 30s and 40s all winter long with a brief little glimpse down into the 20s. I gotta get as much cutting material off of these figs as I can before it freezes too cold because I'm worried I'm gonna lose a lot of material. Check out these little bags. Now I got these on fig bid. I'm excited to try them out. They're actually used for fig pops, but they're gonna be perfect for sliding foot long cuttings down into and then sealing the top up and throwing them in the fridge. All right, let's start here with the Le Bourgeoisie and this one actually dies back every year in the pot so far. It's the first year in the ground, so you know, I'm hopeful that this thing's eventually gonna form into a tree, but with these extreme cold temps, I think we're gonna have to take it down low and just get the cutting material and save this thing. So let's come down here and we're gonna snip actually, yeah, I'm just gonna come way down here. And we're gonna take a lot of cutting material. This probably won't amount to much of anything. It's a little spindly stuff. You might be able to get it to root, but I think I'll just take it off and just kind of save it, uh, it'll, it'll produce more branches down lower and that way I don't have to worry either way about it. That is really not gonna do anything. Now I hate to do that because I really want to develop these into trees, but I want to make sure that in case that one dies back in this cold snap, we're going to get some cuttings that we can try and root and save that variety. So I'll just zip tie this off right here. I labeled the bag already, and this is going to go in the fridge. As I'm going through here, I want to point out good cutting material versus not so good cutting material. So this is my Col de Dom Grease and it's the Herman variety. And here is a huge branch that came off of this thing. It was coming from somewhere down in here and it was going up probably, shoot, this thing's like two and a half foot long, but that's not gonna make for very good cutting material. And I know a lot of people might say, man, Mike, I'd love to have that piece right there. But you see how white and pithy that is in there? It's just, I don't know if this is picking it up. It's really soft material down in there and it's, not hard woody material. Although this has gone through the winter now or halfway through the winter and the wood is hardened off, it's not mature enough yet. Now look at this compared to, let's find a good piece. So right here, this is actually a smaller branch that I cut off of here. And if you look at, let's get down here. If you look at this material right here and you can see that white pith down in there versus this material right here, this is some mature woody material. It's, let's see, get that a little closer there. Um, it's, it's wood all the way through. It's hardened all the way through. And that's really good, nice material right there for rooting. So sometimes you can get some water sprouts growing like that long one in the summer, and it's still not gonna be as good a material in my experience as if you were trying to, to try to root some of this stuff right here that's wood and it's solid all the way through. That's the kind of stuff you wanna look for. And that's that tree all finished up. Isn't that beautiful? I love shaping these things. I took everything out of the center of the tree there and I've got all these branches coming up around the outside edges. And what that'll do is just bring a lot of light and sun down into the center. So everything gets light all the way around it. We got plenty of airflow. It's gonna be a nice little tree. Now hopefully all these little branches here survive this cold snap. Look what I just found down in this one here. This is that uh, hollier, or I guess some people call it oulier if you're down in uh, Louisiana. Some of you mentioned this earlier on in the summer when I planted these out and I had all these hay bales here to kind of mulch things and keep it moist down in there through the summer. You talked about mice hiding out and eating the bark on my figs. I just saw this for the first time. 
something is getting down in there. I'm guessing mice, and they are eating the bark on my fig. So definitely want to take some cuttings of this. Now the roots down in there are strong. I'm sure it's going to spring back up from down below, but I'll have to watch this over time. And uh, in the meantime, we'll take some cuttings off of this and make sure we've got them in the fridge for this spring. So there it is, a great start. Got a whole bunch of varieties piled up here. I'm gonna throw all these in the fridge now and I even saved one little Ben's Golden Riverside just for fun. We'll see if we can get that thing rooted inside through the winter here. And I think I'm done. I'm frozen. So I just got one more decision to make and that is about that Bordesa Negra Armada. I just picked it up last spring and I just don't know that this thing's gonna make it through this freezing weather and so I might bring it inside, it's in a seven gallon pot. It's gonna take up a lot of room in the tent, but I don't wanna risk losing that thing through the winter. And it was a grafted variety. So if the, the roots survive, but the branch dies, I'm done with that variety and I don't wanna lose it. So I think I might take it inside. I'll show you that to you guys as we take care of that little problem. Aside from that, I've gotten a ton of varieties that I do wanna save and preserve. I think everything else is gonna be cold hardy enough and make it through just fine. We'll see. It's always a little bit of a nerve-wracking experience going through winter with these figs. We'll come out on the other end in the spring and I'll show you guys exactly what makes it. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned one little tidbit to help get you through the winter with these figs. Merry Christmas. Have a fantastic week, guys, and a Happy New Year. All right, see you in the next video. Adios. There it is, the next day. It's so beautiful out here. We'll see how these figs come along. I got a few more varieties that I probably should get taken, but uh, it's so pretty for a short period of time in this area. We don't typically get this for a long period of time. It just ends up melting within a few days, but we're about to get this massive freeze. So I'm out chopping wood right now. I'm just enjoying the scenery. Man, nature is awesome. Here it is, just a little sneak peek. I did decide to bring these inside. So we've got our Bordesat Negra Ramada, and it's in a seven gallon pot. Need to water it again soon. It's gonna dry out quicker inside here, but we've got roots all the way down to the bottom because this grew inside, or grew outside all summer long. I bought this early on in the spring. You can see the wood there is striated, and that's such a cool look on those variegated varieties. Now this was a grafted one right here. I got this from Fruit Nut and he likes to do a lot of grafting. So this was grafted onto another root stock. So I didn't want to take the chance of this thing dying back, this graft, even if the roots live, if this graft dies back, that variety's done for me. So I just had to take the chance of bringing it inside, keeping it alive through the winter and see what happens. In the meantime, it did have some nice growth through the summer. So I went ahead and took this little cutting off here and we've got it tucked away down in that pot and we'll see what happens. And there's that little Ben's Golden River side that I said I was gonna get started. So we'll see what happens with these guys. I will keep you up to date on how all this goes. All right, guys, I hope you've been enjoying the holidays. Adios.